Hello and welcome to our next lesson. In this video, we're going to take some time talking about how we're going to go about editing HTML. Specifically, we're going to spend some time looking at a few links that you can go out to find some different editors that you could use to actually edit your HTML, as well as examining the fact that we can do it in Notepad on a Windows machine. And then we're going to discuss some advantages of using, using a specific editor, and we'll eventually download and install an editor that we'll use for the rest of our course. Of course, that will be optional, and you won't have to do that if you decide you don't want to use that specific editor. So I do want to point out that when we're working with HTML, any editor will do. Now, you can actually build pages in Word and save them as HTML pages, but I highly recommend, if, especially if you want to be working on learning how to do the coding, that you don't use Word. So Word is a good way to do a quick page that may or may not work exactly how you want it right out of the box. But since we're learning how to do it, let's avoid using Word. Word is more for writing Word documents, letters, things like that, resumes, and not for editing HTML. So you can use Notepad on any Windows machine. There is Notepad, of course. You could also find, uh, if you're using Linux, maybe a gedit or something like that might be built into your machine. I'm not sure about Macintosh, but I'm sure there's something. And then, of course, I have listed here a bunch of different options. Now, some of these are free, and some of them cost money. There's trial versions, usually, if they do cost money, so you can try them out. We're ultimately going to be using Microsoft Expression Web. Uh, in the, this course, there's a free version, which that link is right there on the end of this page, and you'll also have that link on the download video as well. So, TextPad, JEdit, Notepad++, Crimson Editor, which also can be found as Emerald Editor, UltraEdit, which is a pay solution, Dreamweaver, of course, is Adobe's paid solution, and Microsoft Expression Web is Microsoft's paid solution. So there's different solutions you can get. Of course, the more you pay, the better options you'll probably have. Starting out, I would recommend, of course, trying to do things with a free editor. So let's take a quick look at why using an editor is better than Notepad, even though it's not required. So when we use an editor, we actually get built-in syntax highlighting and formatting. Now this will help us out a lot, especially when we go to debug our code, or if we have big, huge websites that have a lot of different items in them. Sometimes editors will group those items together in a nice way. Sometimes we'll be able to actually use um, some tools that are built into the editors to actually put snippets in or partial tags that we can just supply and then we'll be able to either drag and drop that or select it and add it. And it might just make our life a little easier. Editors are basically designed so that you can code more, more easily, more efficiently, and not have to do some of the menial tasks that you'd have to do over and over again with Notepad. The other nice thing about an editor is that we get what's called IntelliSense. Now, if you've never seen IntelliSense before, what this is is the system or the program itself will actually give you the ability to quickly fill in using an intelligent solution. And it will actually, just like if you had your auto, um, when you're writing your texts, it sometimes will automatically format your words and you know, auto-correct it. IntelliSense will do the same thing for us when we're programming. And again, it just gives us the ability to have better commands and shortcuts when we're working with our code. So as we build our skills and learn more about that, of course, that becomes more valuable. Now, I also want to show you, before we conclude here, I want to show you side-by-side -side some HTML code that, of course, is going to be way more advanced than what we're doing in this course, but it's just out there. And just to see the difference between the HTML code in an editor versus in Notepad. So let's take a look here at Notepad first of all. What you can see here is that Notepad, nothing is highlighted. Everything's the same color. And you know, if we even if we expand this, we can see that there's just a lot of stuff. Now this is pretty well laid out and easy to find, but nothing's highlighted. And, and again, there's no IntelliSense. There's no ability for Notepad to actually fill in snippets or tell me if things don't line up. Now if I look at the expression web, what you can see here with Expression Web, we'll just have to expand this a little bit, is that that same code, this is the exact same code, has different highlighting. So you can start seeing right away where there's text, where there's tags. You can see comments, things like that, that are more easily separated. Additionally, you can see over here, there are some things that we could drag in if we wanted to change some, some part of the code, very easily add items to our code. And if we hit Control and Space, Ordinarily, if we hit control and space in certain places, here, let's just do a new tag. 
we can see that automatically some IntelliSense is coming up, giving us the ability to select items that we're looking for and, and even sometimes helps us pick a URL or things that we need to do depending on what we're trying to do. And you'll see that it automatically closes our tag, whereas the editor in Notepad wouldn't do that. So that's just some advantages there of using the Notepad. So in conclusion, excuse me, that's the advantage of using the editor over Notepad. And so in conclusion then, as we've seen, any editor will do, even Notepad will work. So you don't need anything fancy to do it. You can go ahead and use Notepad or whatever editor you have or choose. Some are better than others and some are free and some are not. And so I advise you again to start with free while you're learning and then as you get you know, more advanced or more robust in your coding, you could purchase a solution that's more unique to your needs or you may even have some options from an organization you're working for. They may provide you with some, some software. Editors do provide syntax highlighting and IntelliSense and of course I'm going to suggest that you get an editor and, and what we'll do in the next video is we'll actually install that Microsoft Expression Web which we just saw a snippet from there. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.